Liam Smith has accused Chris Eubank Jr. of coming up with laughable excuses for losing their first fight ahead of their highly anticipated rematch next month. The pair clashed at the Manchester Arena in January, with Smith stunning his rival by knocking him out in the fourth round, becoming the first man to stop Eubank Jr. inside the distance. Eubank Jr. has since exercised his rematch clause and will face Smith at the same venue on September 2. After suffering the third professional defeat of his career, Eubank Jr. claimed he had been caught by an illegal elbow during the sequence of punches that sent him to the canvas, and also questioned whether the referee had jumped in too early to stop the fight, but Smith has rubbished Eubank Jr.'s remarks, and called for him to take responsibility for his shortcomings in the ring. That, elbow, accusation made Chris look laughable rather than anybody else. Smith exclusively told Mailsport, he's come with the elbow, he blamed the referee, because he activated the rematch clause he's got to come up with some excuse and he really is, that stupid he's blaming all different excuses. It was the referee at one minute, it was the elbow the other minute, it was the weight one minute, it was, trainer, Roy Jones fault the next. He's blaming everybody bar himself. Eubank Jr. has made changes to his training team for the rematch against Smith, with Roy Jones Jr. no longer involved, while former heavyweight champion David Hay has been added to his camp. Smith doesn't expect Hay's presence to make any difference though, as he believes Eubank Jr. is incapable of making the necessary adjustments to beat him. He can bring the best coaches in the world, I just think he's that egotistic, you can't really change him, Smith said. So go and bring who you want in and keep adding to your team if that makes sense. But once you get in there I'm still too good for you. I don't see what David Hay can bring to him. David Hay's style is a low left hand and erky jerky, trying to make me twitch. I know David Hay was part of his management team so I don't really know what David Hay can bring into him. But we'll wait and see. I think he needs anything mentally that he feels can help him. But David Hay's not going to be able to help him. Roy Jones couldn't help him last time. I told him that before the fight. Another victory for Smith would leave him in a strong position, with a number of huge fights potentially on the table for the 35-year-old. Domestic dust-ups with Kel Brook or Connor Ben, who has been cleared by UKAD after failing two drugs tests last year, could await, while he may also get a shot at becoming a two-time world champion. Smith is currently operating at middleweight, but is open to moving back down to light middleweight if a title chance presents itself, and would also welcome a clash with Brook or Ben to prove he's Britain's best. Any of those fights excite me. Any of those fights are big money fights for me, he added. There's still a chance of going down to 154. It depends what comes available. If Jermel Charlo vacates the four belts then I can maneuver myself in a position after Chris and fight for one of them titles then yeah, I'll do light middle again. I beat Chris again and I should get a healthy ranking at middleweight also, so we'll see.